Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario World. On the last episode, we finished off Chocolate Island, as much fun as that was, and we did Castle Number 6. And on this episode, we are going to be exploring the mysterious sunken ship. Now, if you guys remember uh, Super Mario... Oh, that's weird. If you do your spin jump in the... You do like an up jump and your spin jump. Weird. Anyway, if you guys remember Super Mario Bros. 3, this is an airship. Remember those airships that were always used in Super Mario Bros. 3 to thwart you that were run by all the Koopa kids? Well, this is one of them. Holy moly. It's been sunk, and it's been in the water for a long time, and now it's haunted by ghosts and such. So... Be aware of the ghosts. So yes. Interesting tidbit. Throwing back a little bit to the uh, to the older games from this, the newer game, which was released. I think this game was released in 1994. No. Yeah, probably 19. No, I I I don't know what I'm what I'm saying. 1994 seems like the right year, but I, it's probably wrong. Anyways, continuing on, we got some more ghost rings here, and going down. Now we're going to go into a free fall. There's a star here, so don't worry about that. Whoa, come on. You can get lots of extra lives if you hit all the right Koopa guys here. There's also some platforms you can hit, which allow you to get more stars. Whee! And there's tons of coins there. Uh-oh. If we land right about here, we'll land right on top of a green thing. There we go. And that's all we need to do to beat the sunken ship. If you land in the water, all the things will come falling down on top of you, so... Not too recommended. But, you know. Da -da -da -da. So now we have the Valley of Bowser rising out its head out of the water. But we'll take on the Valley of Bowser another time, because we got other stuff to do right now. Whoops. I don't want to go back in here. Stupid button. I've been complaining about that button this entire LP, which hasn't been very long, but it's still long enough to be complaining about one single button. Anyways, we are going to go back to Star Road, because before I do Valley of Bowser, I want to finish that up so we can get to see some of the extra stuff before the game is over. Doop. So just go back over here to the entrance on the other side of the Forest of Illusion. Now we finished all of this star road, but now we have the star road in the middle. So let's go ahead and see what's up. Alright, here we have eight special levels. And when we complete them all, we get something nice. So let's go ahead with the first one, Gnarly. This episode is going to be the first four episodes of Star Road. And then, of course, the next episode I'm going to be doing is going to be the last four episodes. And there won't be anything else. No matter how long or how short it takes me to finish these levels, I'm not going to put anything else content-wise other than these levels. Except for in this video, there is the pirate ship. So, it'll be just a nice little treat. And then, of course, I'll do the Valley of Bowser in one sitting. Of course, we have some dinosaur tokens here. Doing it, we'll get an extra life. But I missed some dinosaur tokens before, so we're just going to pass on over those. Just hit all four of these at once. No big deal. Uh, the first thing that comes or that's out of here is, well, like I said, gnarly. Very short level. There's not much to it at all. Whoa. And then, of course, there's the goal ring at the end of the level. So, short level, a little bit. Lots of them are harder than others. Some of them are pretty easy. But, generally, as the levels go on, they'll get harder and harder. So, now we have level 2, Tubular. This is the level I hate the most. Well, not the most, but it's a level I really hate in Star Road, because this I usually die on this one quite a lot. So hit that. Whoa. Okay, that's going to eat away some time. That's bad. So basically the whole level we have to survive on a P, and I've already died 
So I may as well just kind of jump off the edge. There is no way to beat the level once you've died, or once you've lost your pee, so may as well just exit off. I didn't have a very good start to that level anyway, so we'll see how well I can do on my second try. So far it's going okay, but you know, anything can happen. There we go. This time I think I'm just going to float over everything. But again, you're on a timer. A good thing to do is to just kind of go along with the peas and... Oh darn. Oh darn. Oh, it disappeared. I lost the pea. Ow, I got hit by a football. Oh well. I'm not sure what happened there. I should have ran out of my first pea already, but I didn't hear the sound of me uh, picking up the second one. So I didn't know that I did. Maybe I did, because I, I couldn't really tell, but... Oh well. This time hopefully we'll do a little bit better. This time I'm not gonna fritter away my time. So we'll get that P switch all ready to go and make it... Ow! Right into the fireball. Okay, that was that was bad. I'm not cutting any, anything out of this, by the way. All the deaths I do are going to be... Uh, all the deaths I'm gonna be showing right... Right here, right now, bam, onto the pow, get the next P. Every now and then I miss a P, which really sucks. Oh my goodness, I hate this D-pad. I wish I was playing this on my Super Nintendo. Because at least the Super Nintendo controllers, they're nice. They don't, they don't want... The Super Nintendo's don't, controllers don't want to hurt you, they're, you know... They're nice, but these ones, not so much. This is the only level that I would consider trying to do. Well, not the only level. There are a couple of easy levels, like, uh... Well, you'll see. But this is one of the only levels I would consider doing as Little Mario, because whether or not you get hit, it doesn't really matter if you're big or small, because if you get hit when you're big, you just lose your pee and you die anyway. But when you're small, not only do you lose your pee, but you just die instantly anyway, so you don't have to wait for yourself to fall. So, I have to say that this level, you may as well just do it as regular Mario. I mean, if you do have Yoshi, that's a good thing. You can fly with Yoshi, but... Okay, hit that. There we go. This time I'm going to attempt to hit the top one. I think there's a P in the bottom one, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. So, like I said, I'm just going to... Nope. Now I'm now I'm in a hurry. Now I'm in a hurry. Uh, and there's the end of the level. Okay. This time, if I had a cape there, I'm... If I had a cape there on the last time, I might have lived, because I might have been able to float all the way down and into the goal ring rather than die, but I might not have too. I really don't know how that would have turned out if I had a had anything else. So, oh dear, oh dear, there we go. This time I think I'm going to wait a little bit with this P and not grab it right away. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I'm gonna grab it right away. Ow. Okay, that that was just unfair, I mean. Come on. Okay, come on. Let's do this again. This music is gonna make me rage by the end of this, I swear. There we go. Nice bounce up. Not much going on here. There's the P-switch being freed, and by P-switch I mean P-pocket. Okay, I'm gonna grab that. Where are you? No! Alright, I guess if it gets too high up, then it disappears. Hmm, maybe I'll have to grab it before I do that. I kind of don't want to be that high though when I do that part, because I want to try and grab the the P thing from underneath the bottom football guy, but it's really hard to grab that one because, well, there's that guy and he's, you know, throwing footballs at you from the top. The guy on the bottom isn't so hard to get it from, but you never know with some people, right? Okay, so let's grab that. 
Then I'll hit that. Now I gotta stay low. Go under and actually I'm gonna go over top of that fire flower guy. This guy I'm gonna be careful with, because I if I get a P, then I don't need to hurry. Okay, now I need to hurry. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh, I made it. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. And navigate all the way through, and there we go. Now oh, I don't really care where I hit the bar. Or if I hit the bar, in fact. Wow. I lost like eight lives on that. I'm not surprised. Actually, I probably lost more, but oh well. Let's see if I can get this. Damn it. Oh well, I got eight lives. One, two, three, well, seven, four, five, six. Six lives. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's only six. Rats. Oh well, on to the next one. Way cool. Because this level is way cool. Actually, I hate this level. This one, you have to worry about these switches here. And uh, that can be a real pain. I'm going to keep these ones on. Because I'm pretty sure you need to. If you touch the wrong switch, then you die. So, pretty sure I gotta turn this one off. Okay. Things looking promising so far. Probably should have left that one on and I would have gone to a pipe, but that's okay. I'm gonna turn that one on because going up is good. Eh. Okay, good. And. Dino token! Oh, thank goodness. I thought there was gonna be a part where I had to jump. Okay, these wings you can only use with Yoshi. And I don't really have Yoshi right now, so... Though I wish I did, because... Ah, I died. Okay. This is one of those levels where I wish I had a cape. Normally I fly through this level, so I'm not used to doing this level so much, but... I'm just going to keep all these on. Who cares? We'll go all the way up. <laughs> Later on, there's some parts where if you leave the switches on, it eventually takes you in a gigantic loop, which loops around and... No! Ugh. See, just like that. It would have looped around and taken me back to the very beginning. Terrible. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, keep that one on. Keep that one on. Next one I think it is I have to turn off. Oh my goodness. I don't like dying. I really don't. But I have to. For the greater good of something. Of someone. I don't know who, but... Huh. Ugh, there we go. Okay, keep that one on. Right, then turn this one off. No, I didn't mean to turn that one off. Oh well. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna keep this one off and see where it takes me. Lots of coins, but I don't know. Alright, it just doesn't take me up to the dragon token, but you can get it anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter where you go for that last one. Okay, that one you come up from. From that, uh... From that other switch over there. Alright, all the way down, all the way up. Now I have to... Uh, 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 then down, then back up. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, oh man, this is... This is getting intense. Uh, there we go, I should be safe up. Now I gotta go down again. Oh, I thought that was gonna kill me. I honestly did. No! Ugh. Rats, I should have ran for it. Or just jumped off. Um, another thing is that in uh, the uh, Star Road levels, there are no checkpoints. There are none. Zip, zippo, zero. So you have to do all the levels on your first try. Which isn't that big of a deal, but... Well, it c I guess it can be a big of a deal sometimes, but... No, no, I didn't mean to do that. Perhaps I'm going to go backwards now. Oh, I can't stand in the frame. Screen scrolls too fast. 
Okay. Dying probably would have been the way to go there just because I didn't really have anything else to do. I would have just gone all the way around and all the way back. Okay, so I gotta remember it's the fourth one. Hit the fourth one. One, two. Three, four. Uh oh. I always forget about those guys. And this guy. There we go. Let's turn that on. Actually, I should have kept it off. Because then it's just nice and easy coins. And I accidentally hit the stupid B button. I want to disable it, but I need it for this level. I can't do this level without it, because you can't jump on these black guys without doing your spin jump. And I can't disable it, because that's just the control scheme of the controller. It's so in the way. Let's try this. See where this takes me. Hopefully this takes me somewhere good. Hopefully this takes me to the, the pipe. Oh, it does! Good. Oh, it's it's nothing. <gasps> it's Yoshi! That is wonderful. I love this. Now I have Yoshi. Now I can go whoop! Alright, so in this level you're basically just collecting dragon coins and regular coins. There's enough dragon coins in this level to get a 1-up, no matter how many you collected in the level. I think... I hope... You can collect as many of these coins as you want. No, I guess there's only four in here, but whatever. Then you drop down, and you're done the level. Wonderful. Now we're on to awesome. Now, this level is probably the hardest level for me to get through. For me to get through, I don't know about any of you guys. But this is the hardest level for me to get through without any sort of cape. Wow, I'm really surprised I lived through that. Ow! Okay, I have to be able to make it through this without swallowing my... without swallowing my Koopa. Oh, damn. Oh, well. I got a, a nice star, so hopefully I can live. And I gotta be sure not to run, or else that happens. Ugh, this is irritating me. Oh, well. I'd love to say I get Yoshi, but you don't, because you get Yoshi in the last level. But, hopefully I'll be able to live through this. This level requires very, very good concentration for that last bit at the very end, without any sort of flying device, because you have to platform just the way God intended it to be. Ow! That's not fair. Or fun. Ah! Okay, good. Uh yeah, uh, yeah. Ah uh, no, that is unfortunate. Rats, stupid fish. Okay, let's do this again. I only have one more level to go, then I can take a break. Well, not take a break, but well, yeah, take a bit. But uh, that time I was trying to press the button, but it wasn't in my hand. Well, my hand slipped off the thing, and then by the time I brought it up, I was already running into the dinosaur. Everybody walk the dinosaur. After getting on the floor. I hate that song. Or more, I keep reading copy pastas, and then it ends in everybody walk the dinosaur. It's just a lot of rage, you know? Just so much rage. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have hit that P-switch. Now I'm on the clock. Come on, come on. Gotta make it. Hi-yah! There we go. Doesn't matter if I am a... <sighs> if you guys heard it, that was the sound of me face-palming. It is not a pleasant sound. But it has to be made, nonetheless, when I do something that stupid. Okay, this time I'm going to try and keep my mushroom. And not hit the P switch right away. Ah! Okay, well now I can hit it, because now I really don't 
care because I know I'm gonna be right there anyway. Oh dear. Oh good. No! Wow, fail. I grabbed the coin which gave me an extra life, but then at the same time I got hit by a fish and lost a life. So it was like literally grab coin, hit fish. That could be the name of a band. Grab coin, hit fish. It's a good thing I don't play any musical instruments. I think that would be the hardest point for me is naming a band. If it was my band, and it was my like decision to choose the name for it. Just because I think there'd be so many good names for a band. Like... Mmm... That's a good one I can think of off the top of my head. I don't know, just anything from like a Mario game. I could just you could just say anything and think, oh that would make Are you kidding? You can't jump on top of one of the bullet bills? Or else you go through it? Wow. That is that is wow. Okay, I'll have to remember, this, having the star is good, but if you touch anything while in the star, which should be obvious that if you touch things while in a star, they'll burst into flames, but, or not burst into flames, but I didn't really expect, like, that to happen. Oh dear. This game has some things in it where you just kind of wonder what were they thinking. But I guess that bullet bill before would kind of tell you, like, don't hit this. They are getting all my lives back I've lost in this level so far. Come on, bullet bill, come back. I need you. I don't want you flying fish. Am I going to have to jump onto one of these fish? Ugh. Okay, this time I won't go so far forward as to hit the... What are they called? They're not bullet bills. The bullet bills are the small ones. These are, um... can't think of the name. It's it's something that's... it's just on the tip of your tongue, and it's got to come to you, but it just won't, you know? Bullet bill... like bludgeon bill, but it's like a bludgeon is something that you would hit something with, not like a, a bullet. What would it be called? I, I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, hit that. There we go. Got the second one. Got the third one. Got over here. And I died. Good thing I'm getting all these extra lives, or else this would really suck. This is like the longest part of the video, probably. How many minutes are we into recording? I haven't even looked at my clock. I don't really want to look either because it would just be embarrassing to see. Oh dear. It's been like 23 minutes already. Just over that. Oh. My. Go. Now I don't even get the... Now I don't even get the uh, star. But oh well, that's probably for the best anyway. Ow. Well, I shot at least one fireball out of it, so that's good. Okay, they alternatively come up, so while I'm in the invincibility of this, I should go full of the crap. Okay, take it slow, take it easy, oh, don't do anything you regret. I'm not happy being at the top of here. Find happy place, find happy place, find happy place. Fish, please stop going. Ugh. This is terrible. This is this is the worst kind of terrible. And I know terrible. Okay, this is the longest I've seen that thing go, so this must be a sign. I'm taking my time now, or else I'm just sucking more. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead, there we go. And go on up. This time I will not let this thing die. I'm not sure how it died that first time, but 
I was not happy because of it. And I just walked through those enemies ugh, like I got the star already, but I was only hitting the power piece, so I don't know why I was doing that. There we go, I'm all powered up. Huzzah! I'm Big Mario. No, don't, 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 don't. And I think I've screwed myself again. May as well get those extra lives while I'm at it. Oh, wait a sec, I can just run into this, can't I? Well, I guess I could have, but instead I chose to get hit by a fish. This time let's try and blitz through this as fast as I can, and of course I fall off the edge. Of course. Alright. This calls for some action. This calls for some ultimate timely action. Let's go into here. I'm sick of letting this video run. It has been far too long. So let's go ahead and raise up a purple Yoshi. Now it's time to take on the level. It's time to do it with style. And by style I mean I'm sick of trying to do it legitimately, so I'm just going to fly over everything. Gnarly, tubular, way cool, awesome. Now all I have to do is last long enough. Now all I have to do is last long enough to have this Yoshi fulfill his purpose. Okay. Okay, it doesn't really matter if that happens because, well, you can just grab any old shell and with it you can use it to fly up here and get this. There. Now all I have to do is hurry before I swallow my shell, but I'm now running. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Okay, that's okay. There's a flying guy right there. There we go. Another Koopa shell is all I needed. Hiya! Through the boundary, of course, I'm so awesome. How could I not be awesome? I have absolutely no idea. Well, that is the end of this episode of Let's Play Super Mario World. On the next episode, we're going to be continuing with Star Road, and then after that, we're going to be going to visit the Valley of Bowser. See you guys next time. And I accidentally did this, so I must kill myself in defeat. Bye!